Video two is on. Uh, yeah, so yeah, I'm I am here to just tell you a completely different story. As I said in the first video, it is all about productive capacity, and if we can increase this. Then number one is we are not going to be rocked by inflation. We're not going to be rocked by a cost of living crisis. Uh, we are not going to be rocked by macro stability. Obviously, I think you will know now that the UK economy is not doing particularly well. Uh, why is this? It's because we've had neoliberalism for, for, for 40 odd years. There are different ways of running economies, e.g. Costa Rica has had a green revolution and is doing remarkably well in terms of all indicators, particularly in terms of economic growth and economic development. Uh, we've got the Scandinavian countries, which are the happiest countries in the world. In the top 10 places, they take the, uh, the uh, top five. Uh, if you take the misery index out of uh, 72 countries, the UK is 71st. Well done. Uh, the the misery index is, is sort of really an index which uh, says that people are, are just sort of unhappy with with what is happening within within their country. They feel a sense of unease. So when you look at all the big stats, right, uh, we're not doing particularly well, but we want to start looking at other countries which do far better than, than, than us. And that's really what, what this particular party is, is all about. So it's about productive capacity. It's about having a, a green revolution, and then we can create our own energy, then we can even export that energy. This will be way way cheaper <clears throat> way way cheaper than, than it is currently and i think the uh, big the uh, big argument is that if if the industry was uh, nationalized we could have energy at about 25 percent of our current cost once we set up a green revolution okay thank you